I'm John Cancel. John, not John Chancellor. <laughs> I'm John Carey, Chancellor for the Ohio Board of Regents, and we're here today to uh, hear some exciting news that Ashland University has to announce. But I'd like to start by uh, recognizing the work that the governor and the legislature has done on higher education, working with our higher education partners that prioritized uh, graduation. 50% of our funding is going to be uh, reflected on how many graduates the colleges produce and also on completion. And an important part of that is um, our partners in the private universities as well. So we're interested to hear what they have to say in keeping costs down. That's what we're going to focus on. Governor Kasich sees economic growth as, uh, in our partnership with higher education as key to our economic turnaround in the state. And the, uh, we have some individuals today that I wanted to introduce. The president, when he announced his uh, plan nationally for higher education singled out Ohio as one of the states that was doing it right. And uh, so I want to take a moment to recognize our state legislators. We have Speaker Batchelder here, Speaker. And we also have Representative Romanchuk. And I see Representative Hall in the back. All great colleagues that have really focused on higher education and trying to, and leading us in the direction where uh, we can fill all those jobs that are, that are not being filled. When there's 100,000 jobs in Ohio that are not filled, and by working together, we want to uh, match the workforce with higher education and make that happen. We have two guys that are literally fighting for us in Congress. Uh, first was uh, Bob Gibbs. He was my Congress stand up, Mr. Congressman. <laughs> Now, uh, Pat has been really fighting for us. We <laughs> have to show that. <laughs> Our goal is to have 60% of Ohio residents in the workforce to have some kind of higher education credential by the year 2020. And part of that is by cost, is by access to cost. And today, our president from National University, Craig Fink, has an important announcement. 